If you want to run successful YouTube video campaigns that actually generate subscribers, leads and sales, then you need to watch this video. Because in this video, I'm not only going to show you the step-by-step -step process and how to set up your very own YouTube video ads campaign, as I'm also going to share with you the correct structure and strategy that you need to use if you're going to see any success with your YouTube video ads. And the strategy and structure that I'm about to share with you is one that I use for large and small brands like this who are seeing amazing results with YouTube video ads right now. If we haven't met yet, my name is Aaron Young and I'm your 15,000 hour Google Ads master. And I've been creating and optimizing successful Google Ads campaigns since 2010. So if you really wanna learn the correct strategies and optimizations that are working in Google Ads right now, you need to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much, let's go. Before we go through the step-by-step -step process in setting up and creating your very own Google Ads video campaign with YouTube, there's three very important things that you need to consider. Firstly, your video ad. With YouTube campaigns, you need to remember that in the majority of formats, users, so the people that will actually see your ads, have the option to skip your ads most times after the first five seconds. So because of this reason, the YouTube ad that you're gonna be using, it needs to be a specific video that was specifically created for your YouTube campaign. So I don't recommend just rehashing one of your current YouTube videos. And the reason for that is because in the first five seconds, you need to have a very strong hook or a reason for why they should continue to watch your video ad. Because you have to remember, you are actually interrupting them. They did not choose to see this video, so it's not like other videos on your YouTube channel where people have found it through a YouTube recommendation or through a YouTube search. So your language in the first five seconds needs to be very different. You need to give them a compelling reason for them to not click on that skip button, which they're gonna see in the first five seconds. So before you get to that stage where you're ready to create your very own Google Ads video campaign, you need to think very strongly about the content that you're gonna be using and the video that you're gonna be using in your video campaign. Because the number one reason for why people don't see success with their YouTube video campaigns is simply because their videos suck. The videos that they're using for their ads weren't created specifically as a YouTube video ad. So once you've got that video, the next step is that you need to go through and actually upload that into YouTube. Now the second thing that you need to consider with YouTube video campaigns is you need to think about what action are you wanting people to take. Do you want them to subscribe to your YouTube channel or do you want them to go to your website so they can complete a sale or a conversion? Now this is a very important note. If you're wanting them to go to your website, so you're wanting to take them away from YouTube, when we actually go through the campaign setup, I will highlight this. You need to turn off TVs as one of the devices that you're targeting so that you're only targeting computers, tablets, and mobile phones. And the reason for that is because if you're wanting people to click on your ad and go to your website, they're very unlikely to do that while they're watching YouTube on their smart TV because most websites have a very low level of usability when they're used on a smart TV. So to be clear, if you're taking people to a website, please make sure you turn off the TV targeting, otherwise you're just gonna be wasting money. And when it comes to wasting money with Google Ads campaigns, regardless of what type of campaign is, it turns your campaign into a Google donation scheme, which they don't need any more money. We are only running Google Ads campaigns, including video campaigns, in order for us to grow our audience or to grow our own business. And the third and final and probably the most important point that you need to consider is your campaign structure. Now this is one point that most people for some reason don't think about when it comes to a YouTube campaign. So like in a search campaign where you would target specific keywords to specific ads, with YouTube, you're wanting to separate your campaign into different ad groups that are targeting different audiences and different users. Now the reason for why this is so important, because in the coming weeks and months, after your campaign has been running, if you don't have the separation, you'll have limited optimization options. And by separating the different audiences and the different users that you're targeting, you can then very, very quickly see which ad groups are being more successful and which ad types are being more successful so that you can then pause any underperforming ad groups or ad types. And the way that I want you to run this is underneath your main campaign, you wanna have two different ad groups. 
Now the first ad group is going to be like an affinity or an audience targeting ad group. And in this ad group, we're going to be targeting audiences that are related to your product or your business. And then we're also going to be creating a custom segment, which is full of keywords that once again are related to your product or your business or your YouTube channel. And then in the second ad group, we're actually going to be targeting specific YouTube channels. Now these could be channels of influencers in your space, it could be channels of competitors, or it could be channels of industry related YouTube channels. And in this targeted ad group, you wanna be picking out at least five to 10 different individual YouTube channels that you're gonna be targeting. All right, so now that we have that out of the way, let's get straight into that step-by-step -step process for how you can set up your very own Google Ads YouTube campaign. Now, a quick word of warning before we get into the screen share is that I do wanna let you know that I am gonna be going through the step-by-step -step process in quite a quick manner. But never fear, because if you wait around to the end of this video, I'm gonna give you a link so that you can actually download my YouTube campaign setup guide, which not only has those three consideration points, but it'll also have screenshots showing you the step-by-step -step process which we're about to go through right now. All right, let's jump into that screen share. Okay, so once you're in your Google Ads account, you need to go through firstly and just click on this new campaign button. Now, when it comes to choosing your objective, I always like to use either sales or leads, but in this case, because I'm looking at generating some more leads, I'm gonna click on this option, and then this will bring up all of the different conversion actions which you've already got in your account. And then you can either keep these the same or remove any ones that you don't want for this individual campaign. So I'm gonna be removing this phone call leads goal. And then from there, we press continue. And now when it comes to the campaign type, because we're doing a YouTube campaign, we're gonna be selecting video and then we press continue. Now with the campaign name, I always like to make it something which makes sense to me so that when I'm coming back and reviewing this campaign, whether that would be in two years from now or whether it be from one month from now, I actually clearly know what this campaign is about. I'm gonna be calling this my YouTube outreach campaign. And in this one, because we've already selected that conversion options, the bid strategy will show up in there and then we need to put in our budget. Now with YouTube campaigns, you do have two different options. One, you can make a campaign total budget, or secondly, you can make a daily budget. So for example, with the campaign total budget, if you wanted to run a budget of $150 over the next 30 days, you'd write in the campaign total of 150 and then select the end date 30 days or 31 days or however long in advance. And what that'll actually do is it'll run at amount similar to that $4.84 a day for the next 31 days. But I do wanna make a point of, it doesn't mean that you'll spend that exact amount every single day. Some days you may spend up to even $7 and then other days you may spend around $3. So what it will do is it will average out the spending so that you spend that $150 between your start date and your end date. Now we can skip over this network section and the reason for that is because Google has now made it mandatory for you to be part of the display network. So we don't have any options to unselect those. And then with our locations, I've already got three different locations of areas I wanna target, but you can either do this to all countries, into your country where you currently are setting up the campaign, and even into the other locations, you can even break this down into cities or different postcodes. And to do that, you just go into this advanced search and enter in your individual city or postcode that you wanna target. Now with languages, I recommend only using one language because we're using English, I'll keep that the same there. And then in this next section, you have some different options for the content that you wanna target. Now this is more gonna come down to your individual brand or your company policy that you're setting up the campaign for. And some companies do have different rules for what type of sites that their products can show up on. For most cases, you can click in with the standard inventory, but what this is doing is it's a bit of a safeguard if you don't want your product to show on some different websites that may have some different topics that you don't want your product associated with. Now, another option that I would unselect, and I wanna make this very, very clear, is that you should actually make sure that you do not select this embedded YouTube videos. Because if you select this option, that actually means that your ad can actually show up on YouTube embedded videos on other websites. So for example, if someone has a video on their website and they're using a free version of a WordPress plugin, is that your ad can actually show up on that website and it's just not gonna be a good user experience. So I would not select that option. I would also not select live streaming. Once again, because if people's doing a live streaming, they are less likely to wanna know your ad or wanna see your ad. So with these ones, we can keep these all unselected. Now with your site link extensions, if your campaign is actually about driving new subscribers for your YouTube channel, I would not worry about adding in some site link extensions, but if you're wanting to drive people to your website, 
This is a great option to increase the visibility of your ad because what this allows you to do is it allows you to direct people to different parts of your website. So I won't fill this out now, but as I said, this is an important step and if you are wanting to create those YouTube ads to drive people to your website, this is where you wanna add in your different site links. Now we come to the point of where we're actually gonna be going through and creating our different ad groups. Now for the first one, we're just gonna be doing the YouTube audience. Now the way that this campaign setup works in Google Ads is that you only are able to set up one ad group when you're going through the step-by-step -step process. But never fear, what we'll do is after we've set up this first ad group, I'll then show you how you can actually go into your campaign and easily add that second ad group so that we can target those individual channels that we wanna be targeting on YouTube. Now in this example, I'm gonna be actually setting up and running a YouTube campaign to actually promote this channel. Now, as you know, this channel is all about teaching business owners and people who work in digital agencies how to correctly optimize and set up Google Ads campaigns. So when I go into this audience segments, firstly with the custom segments, I'm gonna actually set up a new custom segment. I've actually already gone through and added in a new custom segment, which is all around keywords related to Google Ads. But if you wanna do this by yourself, you just need to go create new custom segment, type in the name, which I used Google Ads, and then from there, you're just adding in related search terms. So for example, Google Ads campaign setup, and then I can just scroll down and add in the extra keywords, which I think are relevant to my segment. But as I said, I've already added in one segment, so I just select that one in here. Now, when it comes to your data, this is looking at different audiences and data feeds that Google Ads actually has from your current Google Ads account. So if this is your first campaign, you won't have any data here. But for me, because we've run some different campaigns in this account before, we can actually select some of these different audiences. For example, our AdWords optimized list. We've also got some previous website users. And then I'm also gonna add in these similar segments. And then in this last one, an interest and detailed demographics, I'm actually gonna type in business. It's actually brought in some different audiences that would be highly targeted to my product, which is people who are looking at starting a business soon. And then it's just a matter of going through, typing in some different keywords to actually add in the different audiences which you think are gonna have a higher chance of engaging with your ad and ultimately either giving your channel subscribe or going to your website and finishing that conversion action. So I've gone through and added in all the different audiences and the in-market segments that we wanna add into this ad group. And then from there, it actually comes to the part where we're gonna go through and actually create our very own video ad. Now, as I said at the start of the video, is that for video campaigns, you can only use videos that are already on YouTube. And I've gone through and created this video right here, which is talking about why people need a Google Ads optimization process. You just click on share, click copy, and then paste this into here. Now, what this actually does, is this brings up an example of your ad, and it will actually use the thumbnail which you've selected for your ad. And then from here, it's just a matter of going through and finishing off your ad creation. So we need to go in and add in our URL, which is the page that you want them to go to, add in your paths, and then add in your different call to actions and headlines, remembering that Google has this built-in character limit for you, so you know exactly how many characters you've got for each section. So once we've gone through and added in our URL, our display, also our preferred call to action and our headlines and descriptions, we can then go through and press create campaign. And now that our campaign is ready, we wanna to continue to our campaign because there's still that one extra action which we need to do, which is we need to go through and add in our second ad group. And this automatically brings you into the ad group section. So then we press this plus sign. And then this one's actually gonna be the ad group where we're targeting specific YouTube channels. And in here, we're gonna go YouTube channel targeting so that we know the clear difference. Now, because we wanna make sure that we're targeting a different set of people, I'm not gonna go through and add in any audience segments like we did in the first ad group. We're gonna go into this advanced settings. And in here, we're gonna go into placements. And this is where we can actually go through and choose the individual YouTube channels that we wanna go start targeting. Now, if you don't know the specific channels that you do wanna target, you just type in a related keyword, and then it actually brings in the individual YouTube channels. And then it's just a matter of you going through and selecting the individual channels that you wanna target for this ad group. And then once you've selected the different channels that you wanna target, you then go through and recreate your ad for a second time and then press save ad group. 
Congratulations, your Google Ads video campaign is up and running. Now regardless of what type of business or product you're targeting with your video campaign, I highly recommend that you also set up a Google Ads search campaign. And to help you with that, because the very first step that you need to do is to complete great Google Ads keyword research, is I want you to go through and watch this video right here, where I take you through the simple step-by-step -step process in how to complete Google Ads keyword research in the right way. And this is especially important because Google has recently just changed its targeting options. So make sure you go through and watch that video and I look forward to seeing you on our next video very soon. See ya.